Welcome to Kermit D's Reviews and Rants. Have you ever wondered exactly what it means to find the perfect niche to grow your YouTube channel? Well, here's a perfect example of how new YouTubers can find the perfect niche. Kermit D's Channels and Reviews. And this is how a new YouTuber can find the perfect niche and grow his channel. So, let's grow our channels together, people. Sun, 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 just to keep me going. And here's just a brief description of who we're going to be watching. This new YouTuber, B slash CS Transparency, has only three videos to date. As of 12 27 2021, and already has up to 4,023,000 subscribers. He started a new channel and knew what he was going after. He knew what he wanted to do. He put his heart and soul in it. So that's what his niche is. He's found a the community that's willing to watch him. He's giving them good content. They're eating it up. They're loving him. He's doing God's work, is what I think he's doing. He's in the auditing community, First Amendment auditor. That's what he's out there doing, and that's what got me into doing YouTube videos. You can catch my audits and my news channel over at Show Me State News Now. I'll leave a link in the description, and I'll also leave... BCS Transparencies link in the description. Absolutely. I want you all to go over there. Give this man a th big thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit his bell notification for you don't mess his stuff. Like, like I said, he's only got three videos out. I, there's going to be more to come. It's going to get good. So go over there. Share his content. Leave him a comment. Tell him Kermit D sent you. Y'all enjoy. Peace. Hey, did y'all give them permission to search y'all car? Did y'all give them permission to search y'all car? Hey, that's a simple question. Did y'all give them permission to search your car? Let them know you do not give them permission to search your car. He can, he can, he can say he can change his mind. Hey, if he changes his mind. If he changes his mind, they got to respect that. 
Who gave him permission? Where's the driver? Who was the driver? She was the driver. Who was the driver? She was the driver, and she just withdrew consent. If she if she say she don't want you to search that car, then you got to chill. Sir, did you not just see me step out of the car? She gave me consent. Let me talk. She gave me consent. I began searching. Then she asked me to stop. I just got out. My partners are no longer in the car. Correct. Good deal. All right. Now, why did you pull them over? Because this is a there's a criminal trespass affidavit on this property. They do not live here, so we began talking to them because we contacted them due to the reasons that there was possible shots fired out here. So we've been investigating that since they were so unknown. You thinking, you thinking they fired shots? We're not sure. We're, we've been asking everybody, but everybody that lives here has giving me answers. These people don't live here, so we're very curious to what they were doing over here. We were doing an but investigation. They can, they can be anywhere they want to, right? Okay, but when there's a criminal trespass affidavit, the property owner says that people who do not belong on the property should not be here. And we're allowed to talk to them and figure out why they're here. You're allowed to talk to them? Yes, and they didn't give me a sufficient enough answer to why they were here. What's a sufficient answer for you? They they said they were just riding around chilling. This is a high drug traffic area. But it's also a community. Yes, it is. And we can ride around any community this is very true, but that we want. But with this criminal trespass affidavit, it allows us police officers, by their own owner's consent, to contact individuals on the property. You can contact them. Yes, and we were. But and you I can't asked, criminalize them just because they're around here. We never criminalized anybody. So I, I'm trying to see where you got at. Where, where, where are you? Why are you pulling them out the car, searching because, the car, because, and they haven't done anything illegal? Because I asked for consent. Consent search. Just like if I asked you for consent search, doesn't mean I'm doing it because you're crim I'm criminalizing you. It's just you suspect them of some criminal. And we uh, we we are out here because of shots fired call. But do you think they fired the shots? Well, it's possible. You could have fired the shots. But I didn't. Okay. So uh, if this is no more further question, I'm going to leave you alone to let you record me. You're not detained. No, I know I'm not. Thank okay. you. So, hey. okay. Are they detained? Okay. No, it can't be detained. Are they detained? detained Sir, can we talk to That's them? a simple question. All right. Yeah. Please Are back. they detained? All right, you people need to step back. You so can we can, you're infringing yeah, on our Yeah, we're going to see them, but we also want to know, are please they detained? Step, please step back. You're infringing on our no, investigation. No, no, we're not infringing on anything. But we're asking you a legal question. Are they being detained? Listen, let me, let me ask them this question. They got to they gotta answer this. Are they legally detained? Are they detained? I'm stepping back. But are they detained? Hey, bro, hold on. Listen, listen, listen. So, did my partner explain to you? I'm asking a, a legal question. Are they detained? Did my, my partner explain to you? Are they detained? He didn't say whether they were detained or not. So, there's a CTF David on the property. Do you live on the property? Listen. Do you live on the I don't answer questions. Do you live on the I don't answer questions. Listen, listen, young lady. Listen, listen. 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 You all, if you're not detained, you're free to go. All right, I'm trying to explain Listen, this to them. You can do what you want to me, but you're going to face a lawsuit. Okay. Because I'm standing I'm here. I'm trying to talk to them. I am talking. I got a First Amendment yes, right to talk. I'm trying to talk to them. And I'm asking and they're you, listening to are they you detained? When I'm trying to talk to them, hey. I'm trying to get them out of here. But no, you're, you're not. You're trying yes. to find a reason to arrest them. All right. Briefly, when now they, I'm trying to get them out of here. Now they're no longer detained. Okay. You, sir, are just being a. I'm silly. asking you're you being questions. Now you're being silly. If you all are not detained, listen, you're listen, free to go. Stop talking to them because that is infringing. No, it's on. not yes, infringing. It I got a first. I don't, I don't have to talk oh, to you. Talk to me. I'm going okay. to continue okay. to listen over here. Stop talking to you them. You don't tell though. me to stop okay. talking. Arrest me for talking. No, no, no. Talk Arrest to me, me for talking. If you want to talk. Listen, if you all are not detained, you're free to go. Stop talking to them. What's your name? Name and badge number. What's your name? What is your name and badge number? Okay. There's a criminal trespass. What is your, you you what is your name and badge number? You have any idea? I don't answer the question. What is your name and badge number? What is your name and badge number? There you go, sir. Thank you. You got a call?
Okay. You don't want to honor your policy? You free to go? I was never detained. You free to go? I know. I'm a police officer. I understand that. Do you have any questions for me? You're free to go. Right now, because they don't got no reason to be fucking with y'all. Y'all induce it. Y'all don't answer questions. That's right. Y'all don't answer questions. Y'all don't answer questions. Get in the car with your mom. Y'all don't answer questions. We don't answer questions. We don't answer questions. Get in the car. I got a question for y'all. Mind answering the question? What's your question? I got a question for y'all. Mind answering the question? What's your question, sir? What's your name and badge number? Officer Milligan, 1145. What's your name and badge number? Chance, 1279. All right. Why do y'all have him sitting on the ground like a dog? He's not sitting on the ground like a dog. He's chilling. Did he volunteer to sit on the ground or did y'all make him sit on the ground? You told him to sit on the ground. Is there a law that says he has to sit on the ground? Get up off the ground, man. You're interfering with our investigation. No, I asked you if I could ask you a question. Interference is a physical thing. Interference is physical. Yes, and I asked you if I could ask you a question. You said he's not detained. Well, why did you say he wasn't? I did not say that. You just said he wasn't detained. Okay, well, if he is detained, I can still speak. Okay, but I'm not going to have you speak to him and interfere with our investigation. I can speak to him and he can speak to me. You can also step over there, sir. I can, but I can also stand here. We're still conducting our investigation. Well, I'm asking you a question. Why is he sitting on the ground? He don't have to sit on the ground. There's no law that says he has to sit on the ground. You are violating his rights right now. Yes, you are. I'm just letting you know. You don't have to sit on the ground like no dog, man. I'm going to watch, bro. You're not all right. They're violating your rights. If I was you, I'd stop talking to them. Everything you say can be used against you. Nothing you say going to help you. Invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. And ask him to get out your car, man. If you gave him consent, withdraw it. It's a shame you sit on the ground like a dog. People spit on the ground. Dogs come through and piss and shit on the ground. And you sitting on the ground because you're afraid to stand up like a man. And you talking to them like they're your friends. And you're upset with me and I got your back. They're not your friends. they looking to put you in jail, confiscate your car right before Christmas. Learn your rights and stand on them. Let me holler at you, bro. Let me holler at you, man. You ain't got to say nothing. I just want to tell you something. They are not your friends, man. Just listen to me. They just had you sitting on the ground like a damn dog. Now, if they respected you and your rights, if she did call them and say that she was afraid, she didn't know what she was doing out here, they could have came and contacted you and said, how you doing, young man? My name is Officer So-and-so. My badge number is So-and-so. And I got a call that the woman in here thought you were suspicious. And we just want to see what's going on. They wouldn't have made you okay. sit on the damn ground okay. like a dog, I understand. Man. Now, can I tell you something? Yeah. I actually was here to help the young lady. Mm -hmm. I knew they were coming. Okay. I wasn't worried at all. I didn't do anything. But she, wait, you, you wait, wait, know she on. called. I'm just going to ask you a question. Yeah. You know she called, though. I'm the one who told her to call. And then they put you on the ground and search your car? I'm fine with that. I was here doing something right. I wasn't doing nothing wrong. But guess what? I had no problem with them searching me. You know guess why? what? Wait, wait, wait. You know why I had no problem with them searching me? Go ahead. Because I knew I didn't do nothing wrong and I knew I wasn't doing anything wrong. Okay. Now, it's the thing that I like to sometimes you got to think for yourself. Right. Why go out in the streets doing something wrong if you know you dirty or anything like that? Okay. I knew I wasn't. Yeah. I came to help a young lady. Good. I'm the one who told her. 
call the police. Right. And I told her, I'm going to sit here with you until the police get Already. Here. I knew something that I had done was not right. I knew when they came to question me, because I knew their word, that's why I didn't even drive off. I knew that they were going to smell what I had chosen to do. So for him to ask me to sit on the ground and he was being polite with me instead of yanking me about the car, I had no problem with Okay. I knew he was going to question me. I knew they were going to run my name. I knew I was going to be sitting there for a while. I've been through this procedure before. I had no problem with that. You know why? Because I know now I don't do the stuff that I used to do, and I think before I come out of the house. I may slip up sometimes, but hey, that's the consequences that I got to face for that. Once again, though, I knew what they were going to do. I had no problem with it. That's why I was perfectly fine with sitting on the ground. Nothing went crazy. You threw? Nothing jumped off. You there threw? is nothing to put on YouTube and know the police brutality or they made this man. They didn't make me. I sat down. I know my rights. I knew when he asked me to sit down on the ground, I, I knew I didn't have to. I had no problem with it. Though. Just go ahead and get this over with so we can go about our way. We both here for the same thing. To help this young lady in the store out. That's it. Okay. All this here, it's not necessary. Okay, let me, let me, let me I just heard you out. Give me out. You just made it bad for the next man that don't know his rights. You know what? Oh, listen yeah. to me. I just heard you out. He need to learn his rights. Listen. You can't come out here expecting to do this and do Let that. Let me explain something to you. Rights. I, I, oh, he I sure know, can. Know, he sure can. But I want you to know something. You just made it bad for the next man. Because when you sit on the ground... Mm -hmm. That makes them feel like it's all right to make them make the next person sit on the ground. No, it's not. Let me explain something all to he, you. All he has to do they, is like, see, if the people that you are recording this for, if they were really paying attention, they would have heard me say, I know my rights. I know I did not have to. You know your rights. I chose to. And you chose. Exactly. To let them search your car. Exactly. Not knowing if this is a dirty ass cop wanting to plant a gun, wanting to plant drugs in your car. Right. You don't know that. But they both were here for the same I don't care thing. what they here for. You don't know if he dirty. You don't know this man. You don't care except for nothing about that right there and what could have been. You don't know that he man. It didn't happen, though. That's over. You don't know that man. You could be he laughing. doing something He keep keying and he cock I'm doing something very productive. This is productive. I'm educating those who are watching. But I want you to know something. You just made it have bad night, for the next man. Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be bootlickers. I don't know if he's dirty or not. Next time, don't volunteer to let him violate your rights. If you know him, stand up for him. 